And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Malphite. Uh, we're going to be trying out this combination of champions together. Um, that's going to be a slower control um, deck. And uh, they work pretty well together because, of course, Zillion creates the time bombs in your deck. And the time bombs are going to be two mana landmarks. And li landmarks are important because Malphite needs you to see 12 plus mana worth of landmarks. So there we go. That's the synergy between to be able to level up that's the synergy between our champions we're going to have a little bit more predict than what we had last time so we're going to have these ancient preparations in here as well to help predict to look for the time bombs um some preservariums draw on some cards um and besides that we're going to be trying out some some new cards i kind of feel like ground slam could be pretty good we we're going to be summoning landmarks every game so this is going to be like stun plus deal three to a unit that sounds pretty sweet for four mana so we're going to be trying that um, of course, we're going to be playing Merciless Hunter. That's what we've kind of found out with these games is you got to play this card. <laughs> so we've got a couple of those in here. I'm playing one Veil Temple, you know, just to refill spell mana and do its things. It, again, you know, we want a good amount of landmarks for Malphite. So we're going to try one Veil Temple. We'll have two of these eyes that level up Malphite basically by itself. And they can also do some stunning to help keep us alive. Star Shaping help keep us alive. One Stonebreaker towards the top end. We play four plus landmarks, deal four to an enemy and two to the enemy nexus. Looks like a pretty sweet card. I like that one. Uh, we got Chip as a good blocker. Good one mana, three, three. Blue Sentinel, same kind of thing. It gets the Crest of Insight whenever it dies. Countdown one, gain a mana gem this round. So we get to ramp for like one turn with the Blue Sentinel. We're going to try that out. And Rockfall Path, another interesting card to try out. I'm not sure exactly how good this is going to be. This two mana landmark countdown to obliterate the weakest enemy i'm not sure there's a lot of like little one ones and stuff like that around right now so maybe this this won't really end up working out very well but i want to try it because it's a new card if it doesn't work out very well i i would probably recommend playing two copies of rock hopper because rock hopper can fit in here and also puts a two mana landmark in play to help out the malphite and everything so maybe this rockfall path should just be rock hopper but i'm going to just try out the the new card you know it's always good to try out new cards all right, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give this a try. Z uh, Zillion Malphite. And uh, we'll go play our five games in ranked. Draven Ribbon. This deck's a little different. We are playing two copies of Hush. Should maybe be three copies of Hush right now with how much Nasus is around. But I have two copies of Hush. Uh, let's see. I like Ground Slam, I like Zillion. We're gonna mulligan these two. That fast speed stun also just good against, you know, they go all in and put a bunch of pump spells on something, but it can get denied. Join the hunters, they say. Okay, so we'll have turn two Zillion. Get those time bombs in our deck as soon as possible, and so we can help. We can start drawing them as soon as possible. This actually would be a good Rockfall Path matchup sometimes, because <laughs> like they may only have like one enemy in play. But I'm gonna. It's either Star Shaping or Skip. I'm gonna have Solari Priestess, then the Fangs. I'll take the star shaping. Time is winding, like a waltz. Skip may not have been night or may not have been bad. Ugh, yeah, looking for a time bomb or a hush. You know, hard to hard to go wrong with star shaping. Okay, so I actually haven't played a landmark yet for this ground slam. Back heretic. Just a moment. They're gonna have vision.
Pine Peas! With that resub. Lots of resubs today. Thank you, Pine Peas. Come back 15th the month. The heart and mind to you are amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah, great win rate so far today. All positive records. They have 10 cards in hand. You know, here come some blade fragments. Lots of blade fragments. Hey, no. No. Or burn. <laughs> All right, see, so yeah, I didn't play the landmark last turn, so don't get to do the three damage. I'm not thinking about it. Time for the money makers. Yeah, they actually they can have syncopate now or syncopation. That seems like a pretty awesome card for their deck. The switch spots. Let's get this going. I need this countdown two to speed up. Don't love my chances of staying alive next turn. To maybe just attacked for three life steal Yeah, syncopation, flurry of fists. That that can be some some cheese. That's a way to win games. We're, of course, we're going to have another 2-2 for a blocker. No looking back. I know my purpose. So yeah, this... They got Flurry of Fist. <laughs> we can die. Plus two plus zeros. They're not letting me crescent strike. You again? Just let the damage happen. Now we're cooking. Okay, so trying to level Yes, they're going to level up Draven. We've only done three mana worth of landmarks. Or not. Or are they? Yeah. Oh yeah, because this is a new Draven. Oh, yes, we do have another Celestial card. Right. Yes. Come out and play. Okay, so maybe they don't have Deny? Thought I was already perfect. Mm, I should have passed. I knew I should have passed. I don't know why I played that. 
Well, that's not bad. Ground slam's not bad. Yeah, I, I really should have passed. I don't, I don't know why I didn't. That was, that was really bad playing that blue set null. That was really bad by me. I don't know why I played that. I needed to. I need to have nine mana the next turn. I was thinking, you know, I was thinking, okay, I obliterate the tube. I still kind of need a blocker, and I just played it. And I was, then I realized, wait, now I can't. I can't play that because I need the mana. Okay, another deck with some stuns. Another Tarkon deck. It would have been really nice to have one of our hushes last game. That would have been nice. Alright, prediction is up. I think we'll let's just take this ground slam. It may help us get through. I'm hoping they still don't play anything here. We get to attack for six. We can still attack for six. That's just a little two three. Let's get on in there. I like this chip card. Chip card is looking good. Oh man, are we gonna have another opponent that's gonna sit there? All right, there we go. Okay, that's better. Zillion. Found Zillion. Now let's find some time bombs. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Ah, no, no time bomb. I can keep that Malphite. Maybe I should be keeping the Malphite. I just went skip. There's a time bomb. Time Bomb plus Ground Slam. Can kill Yasuo. They're probably going like Concussive Palms and stuff like that. Ooh, a Yasuo Steel Tempest. Uh, Alright, I guess that, that's gonna happen. So that's always very, very important, of course, with the Yasuo deck, killing the Yasuo. So that's gone. My kind of Ooh, Malphite. So I'm feeling probably Priestess plus Rockfall Path this round. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. 
I'm not sure which one of those to take. I'm kind of taking the warrior that can kind of challenge the champions. I could play Preservarium to draw to try to find another time bomb, but I think it's maybe good to get the rockfall path started. need to clear up board space. 9 out of 12. For the landmarks. I know, they're killing my chips. Chip's so cute. Oh, no! Alright, oh, no. I'm gonna start with Preservarium. So now the tail of the dragon is a smaller thing. Right, we'll start here. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Zay, I don't think it, like if I would have hushed this, I don't think it would have. I think like next round it'd still be the, th the three three. Ooh, Stonebreaker. Don't break her cool. Sunlight guided my brethren. Sweet. That's an awesome no that's an awesome noise for Stonebreaker. That's really cool. Sound of like Oh, it doesn't have a full art? Oh, they actually changed. The full art button is behind my camera. It's like way down here now. They changed it, but yeah, it's like rising from the ground. Like a, it's just a mountain. That's really cool. All right, well, we got a deny out of their hand. So that's good. Our, our six, four plus get rid of a deny. Malphite has been better than I expected. It's just so big. It's, I've been very impressed with it. So far out of the decks that we've played, the deck that looked the best, honestly, I think was the Malphite Leona. We got, you know, top decked twice to lose those two games. We got pretty unlucky losing those games, but that really could have been a 5-0. And, and with how good Hush is right now and everything, maybe that deck should be playing three Hush. But um, that felt like a really good uh, deck and a really good combination of champions. You said Renekton Freljord is still really strong. Oh, yeah, it still is. But and again, <laughs> more reason, you know, more reasons to play even more Hushes. Uh, I need one more landmark for this Malphite. Needs a strong word. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite. The, the light rains down. It's their third daybreak card. Who's got the upper hand? <laughs> Yeah, this card is probably the best non-champion in the set, Merciless Hunter. This remind this card reminds me a lot of like Grizzled Ranger when it came out. I know it's a different card, but it's just like just overly powerful on stats and just does so much. That's what this kind of feels like is like Grizzled, you know, four one Grizzled Ranger making four four uh, Badger Bear. It's like they just overtuned this card. I think they wanted. I think they wanted more Sharima decks. I think that was a, a big thing. That's my. That's my best guess. They just wanted more Sharima decks. I'm not gonna be obliterating the Blade Twirler because I have the Hush for it. One and then two. It's gonna keep that vulnerable for good. Don't 
summon your own speed. Back, heretic. Have faith. That's a way to clear a board space. Clear board space. If I lose this game, I did something wrong. I think. I feel like from what they, all the kind of cards that they've played. I don't have to be too scared of them giving this thing like elusive or overwhelm or something like that because I do have the hush. I want the blue sentinel to block and give me the crest of insight because that levels up Mal Malphite. Shake them up, shake them up. We got regular ground slam and Malphite's grand slam, or ground slam. Alright, so Zillion's gonna level up. We can play Moon Silver and get another Moon Silver back. That's kinda cool. Man, that's a sweet level up animation. That is really cool. That is really cool. And that's game. All right, one and one with Zillion Malphite. <laughs> well, Deck looked really powerful there in a Targon Mirror. Ooh, I'm worried about this matchup. We are a slower deck. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about the real fast burn. Um, this is about as good as we could hope for. Hope for sorry. Um, I'm gonna keep Priestess because Priestess can can find like Golden Sisters. Could be awesome. The sun rock got me good. Here I am, there I am. No attacks. Nah. I was hoping I'd scare them from attacking. That was my hope. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the best of plays, but that's what I was hoping. All right, we'll take Zillion. A 1-4 is a good blocker. Ground Slam can kill a Draven. Like that, Draven. 
Hey, Just Try. I am doing very good. Yeah, I've been really enjoying playing the new expansion with new cards. It's always a great day getting the new cards. Have that every two months. And so yeah, today is a good day. Not sure what I'm gonna do for this round. So if I skip, if I would skip, would I, you know, we didn't see a, a time bomb with either of those, would we just get the card that was still on top before? Yeah, one mana short for the Spirit Fire. We'll have to do it on a future turn. Planning on playing the four drop. Okay, so double predict fixes the next two draws. Oh, I didn't know that, because it says, does it really do that? Because it shouldn't. Because it says shuffle the deck and then put that card on top, so that would that would infer that you're shuffling the deck that includes the top card that you, that you predicted before. So it shouldn't. Like, whenever you do the second predict, it should shuffle the deck. But of course, you know, they... It wouldn't surprise me if it does. Um, because they're not real clear on the, the wording in this game sometimes. But for the, the wording, it should not do that. Yeah, we got Chip Guardian. Chip Guardian. I'd say Chip's pretty rock solid. Dependable. That's the incorrect card challenge. I think the correct card challenge was the charger, the trades with the charger. So now they have to use a spinning axe on the flame chompers. Yeah, they could just be saying that they have vision. Which, you know, I'm not really playing around it. Nothing. Not really any way to play around it. No. They discarded another ballistic bot? Oh. Yeah, they have vision for that. We gotta figure out some way to kill this Jinx. Jinx is quite scary. We're always one mana short. Should have taken the four one. Yeah, that's a. That definitely feels like something you could do. Question is, what about Zillion with Jinx and stress testing? And yeah, PNZ has a lot of you know like rummage and stuff like that. Like yeah, that has a lot of card draw. I like that. I think that's something that you could do is, is build a, a card draw deck with uh, you know for with Zillion as a way to try to look for you know a bunch of. Um, Out of five. 
Sorry, there's a way to look for more time bombs. Gotta find star shapings. We had a really good hand. I maybe, you know, maybe messed up messed up some sequencing somewhere, but I can't complain about my hand. We had a very good hand. Uh, I think this is just a tough matchup and Jinx Jinx can win games, right? Like we were up up at 20 whenever that Jinx hits us and you know, now we're down at 4. Uh, Jinx will win games on you, that's for sure. Ooh, star shaping. We're still in it. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So one mana from Golden Sister. <laughs> We're always one mana off. Oh, it is a great day for a reckoning. Hoping they don't have the direct damage to kill me. This is risky, of course, but I am trying to use the Spirit Fire to kill the two small things. It's a good jury rig. And one mana short again. From having Golden Sister plus Star Shaping. Oh man, that's the third Flame Chompers. That was quite good there too. None of those really help. Taking a cheap one. The jury, the jury rig got killed by my... Like, they had to play the jury rig to die to my landmark. Alright, so my plan's gonna be Golden Sister. Let's draw another card, see if we find something cheaper. Okay, cool. Ground Slam's great. That was kind of what I was hoping for. Okay, like they may have had another Draven, had a Whirling Death right there, and so you know would have the ground ground slam to protect against that, but they did not. I feel pretty good about this now. You know, like we now we survived. Um, you know, that last little bit, I didn't think we were. So I think we're actually going to be winning this now. They didn't have, like, you know, like that one get excited or something like that they needed to finish the game. So, yeah, we, we got this. Let's go ahead and go with this card. And then I think Malphite should finish this up. Where shall they get to block Malphite? The Destroyer's lame. Malphite cool. Yeah. Malphite's pretty tough. No, really, a really a Azir is just fine. Uh. 
Because if I would have played the Destroyer last turn instead of the Malphite, instead of showing off playing the Malphite, <laughs> we would have been able to open attack for a win. Yay, we still, still can maybe get there. See if they drew a Mystic Shot or get excited to keep them alive. You'd think they'd have to get to get excited by now. They're they're down 15 cards left. They haven't seen it get excited yet. So yeah, they, they're just deciding, just deciding what to discard. Oh, that didn't seem like a difficult decision. So that's going to level up Malphite, see, Synergy, Time Bomb, level it up. I could have done that before combat, you might have been like, well why don't you just do that before combat and stun their stuff, but then, you know, we needed this thing to die for the other one, and let's get Chip in there. I of course don't need an extra Mana Gem next round, I got plenty of Mana Gems, I got 10 of them, in fact. Ooh, we get the time bomb lethal. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Uh. <laughs> well. Hmm. I don't want to eat. Now, when am I? I'm gonna try to level up this. Oh, I guess we're not going to level up the Zillion. No, they're going to be dead first. Bye -bye. Good close game. No, let me play the other time bomb. Because the second time bomb would blow up the first time bomb. <laughs> an, explosive, an explosive finish. All right, well, here we go. Speaking of Aurelia Azir that we just were talking about, let's see how good it is. Well, again, do I keep star shaping? I'm going to keep two drop, four drop. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Star shaping is always a card you're happy to have access to. And since I already had a couple of cards for the earlier. It's going to be bad if the blue sentinel will just be dead right now and then we get the you know the landmark and then one extra mana gem for this next turn and then we play the fangs. Okay so this does not do three damage yet. I haven't played a landmark. Every blade, every beat in its place. Golden Sister seems pretty good against like little one ones attacking you. Gamma, Talia, Lissandra. That sounds awesome. The Serpent is exactly what I wanted against that 3 2 champion over there. Build your own Blighty Caretaker. Still get our Nexus heal for three on. What do you call that technique? I just I have to play the ancient preparation so that the uh, ground slam can kill one of these. But I'd rather play Zillion than Ancient Preparations, especially playing Zillion first for the Time Bombs first, before the Preparations. 
So, I guess I just don't kill one of those right now. I don't really need to. I'll just get it. My Solari Priestess will block the Sparring Student. Well, we're not close to Stonebreaker. Shall I skip again? So yeah, so that'll be leveled up. We dance to the drums of war, and all our hearts beat as one. Back, heretic. Just a moment. <laughs> okay, so we get a little bit extra mana in this next round. So I'm going to be able to Golden Sister and Ground Slam. I can only go to 20 anyway. This is another retreat return, maybe. Same thing. See, so though I'm not healing my Nexus for 4 with this Golden Sister, it doesn't matter. I can only heal 3 to go to 20 anyway. Alright, we'll follow their lead. Blade dancing again. Yes. You are beneath me. All right, still at twenty. Life steal units seem to work fairly well against these blade dances. Alright, so yeah, so... When allies... Okay, so every single time allies attack, they get a Blade Surge? This Blade Surge is gonna be rough. They just get to put this... They just get to have this Aurelia kill any of my things. That's honestly gonna be pretty rough. Yeah, very glad they didn't have Azir or um, or Inspiring Marshall, right? Like Inspiring Marshall, <laughs> these all plus two plus zero. That would have been brutal. So I I don't really agree with how they did that. Well, I don't know. I I kind of feel like maybe they should have killed one of my things. Kill a chip. Don't kill a chip. Don't be like that. Hmm. 
Uh, they did not kill Chip. They were not like that. This Cosmic Inspiration can't be the best card to choose. This is a summon. They get the Flawless Duet. Oh no, because they don't have the attack token anymore this round. They have... Yeah, so that's what they were planning is do that, but they don't have the attack token anymore. Yeah, just getting some big celestial unit that's attacking is would have been better than the cosmic inspiration, but it's all good. Three and one. So guarantees a winning record. Guarantees an all winning day, first day. Oh, overwhelm. Overwhelm. Let's see. I kind of like all this stuff. Honestly, it's I know it's I yeah, I kind of like everything that we have. I'm going to keep all this. So my plans for all these cards, star shaping, super late game, heal my nexus. The fangs pretty self-explanatory turn 4, zillion turn 2. But then this eye of the rohoric I can play all right, whatever. You get this vulnerable. I can play that either a Horik and stun two of their attackers. No. What a shame for you. Nothing escapes my watch. Well, this time bomb worked out pretty well. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Another time bomb? Another time bomb? And we got a ground slam. So we can stun this so it can't it can't challenge my zillion. And we have summoned a landmark, that was a time bomb. And now it has one health. And now we level up Zillion. Wow! This is the most broken deck ever! Wow! So every card that we play, we just get another copy of? So we're gonna have extra hushes and ground slams? And everything? What? Let's get another of the fangs. Yeah, bub. Bubby, have you seen how broken this this deck is, we can get another charger. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. All right, spell shield's kind of mean. You lost. Nothing. So I was thinking that they're going to be challenging my Malphite. Hmm. Alright, I probably played that... Okay, I probably just played that turn pretty wrong. I guess if I don't... If I don't play this Charger, I got the extra mana. I can Hush plus Ground Slam to keep this alive for an, an additional round. But... I think it still did its job. I'm pretty sure it did its job. Moon Silver is interesting. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Man, is this worth it? So I can, I can Moon Silver hush, hush my Zillion. So then it doesn't have Vulnerable. Sounds pretty worth it. But no, they they just use another spell. Yeah, hush is probably just too valuable. We would get, we'd make another Hush, but it'd be a fleeting copy of Hush on like a turn that we don't need it. Zillion. 
Alright, so found another Zillion. But of course they have this Roiling Sands now. As long as they don't have another spell shield unit. I'm sorry to say time isn't really an illusion. Oh, each clean copy of each non- I saw you play last round, so they didn't see me play. They didn't see me play the landmark, five mana landmark. Malphite. Dude, Zillion Sweet. This game was crazy. That'll do. Don't give it up. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Good job, puppy. Wasn't that awesome? Wasn't that awesome? Puppy's new favorite card. Malphite with the win. That was definitely not Zillion at all. So yeah, Zillion seems like kind of a, a high variance champ. <laughs> you know, you get you get your predict to hit the uh, hit the time bomb, and then you draw, and then you, you like your your time bomb draws a card, and so then your time bomb draws another time bomb, like what we had that game. That can get out of hand in a hurry. Um, so yeah, that was <laughs> that was pretty sweet there. The leveling up your Zillion, then you just get all those those free cards. Um, really, really powerful. I was um, I was really impressed with Ground Slam, honestly, with this deck. Ground Slam looked great, especially like it wasn't, you know, we were summoning a good amount of landmarks, so that, that wasn't too big of a deal. Um, but then being able to stun and deal three damage, just having fast speed removal in Targon felt awesome. So like that, this card really looked good because then it's it's like fast speed removal that kills all the, like so many champions that the deal three kills. But then if it doesn't, if it's something like really big, like big Overwhelm or an Ass or something, you can still stun also, like real flexible. Um, Ground Slam looked like one of the best cards in our deck. Uh, you know, I was just trying out, it's going to see like how Veil Temple felt in here. It didn't feel like we really needed Veil Temple. I liked this Eye of the Rahoric. I could see playing another Eye of the Rahoric or another Fangs instead of this Veil Temple. Um, Blue Sentinel was okay. It was honestly a little disappointing. It's, it's you know, it's kind of hard to kill the, the Blue Sentinel, but I think it's a, a pretty decent blocker against aggro. But I could, I could definitely see just playing um, the Rock Hopper instead. You know, rock, you know, you're still putting that two-cost landmark into play. So may, maybe that's the way to go instead of Blue Sentinel. I'm not sure. Uh, probably rock, Rockfall Path, though, as far as cards go. This one um, probably under underperformed. But, you know, I wanted to try it out. It's a new new card. But I think it underperformed. I think that for Rockfall Path, you probably need to play the cards that, um, that reduce the clock by two. Like, there's a few of those that whenever you play them, you... You uh, reduce the... Uh, I gotta do show one end. <laughs> there we go. Like Clockwork Curator, advance the landmark by two rounds. Um, there's also like the spell version of that, which is somewhere. Time in a bottle. 
you know, advance and allied landmark two rounds. I think those kind of cards could work really well with the path. So you can play the path whenever they ha they don't have like a one one. You play it and then you advance it right away and obliterate the weakest enemy. I also think this is a really good card with Talia. How you know you you play it, then the next round it's at countdown one and you copy it with Talia and you can obliterate two enemies. I think that could be pretty sweet. Even though they're the weakest, it's still obliterate two enemies. And so I feel like it could work well there also. But maybe th with this deck, just having a uh, good old Rock Hopper, that uh, maybe would have been a better card. But besides that, I liked a lot that we had going on. You know, you still had your top end with the Star Shaping. The Spirit Fire did its job. Stonebreaker looked pretty cool. It was a nice little one of. But Ground Slam, man. Ground Slam, Merciless Hunter. These two cards were two cards that looked great today as far as new cards go that you may not have uh, thought too much about. But even Malphite. Malphite looked awesome being just so big. <laughs> 10, tough. Even the big Overwhelm things can't get through 10, tough. Like, that's that's difficult to get through that. Um, all right, so there we go. So that's Zillion Malphite. Pretty cool looking deck here. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit the like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. All the new champions, how are you liking the new expansion so far? What are you trying out? What kind of decks are you playing? And also want to know what do you want to see on stream? Let me know about that. I'm uh, real interested to hear about that. But that's it here for Zillion Malphite. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.